Morning everyone, welcome to your English lesson this morning. It's Thursday, what a brilliant week we've had so far. So well done to all of you who managed to send me some really, really brilliant questions yesterday. I was super impressed with the questions that came through and this, there was such a variety of sentence openers as well. So a huge well done to you. So today we're going to write a description of our character. Now yesterday we learned that our character is called Percy. And we've learned quite a lot about Percy just through the pictures that we have seen this week. So I would like you to pause this video now, head back to the school website and watch the video of the story of Percy the Park Keeper and the Secret Path. So watch that first and then come back to this power, this video to continue your lesson. Okay, welcome back Bumblebees. I hope you really enjoyed listening to that story. So you're going to start today's lesson by creating a roll on the wall. So a roll on the wall looks a little bit like the outline of a gingerbread person, but in fact, it's going to be Percy. So in, on the outside of the roll on the wall, you're going to use any quotes or any evidence of what he looks like. So we're going to focus on what he looks like around the outside of your gingerbread person so what does he look like needs to go on the outside okay and what can we see what can we see goes on the outside as well oh and i need to just remember my rules from yesterday that my questions need a capital letter so we'll just pop that in as well i'll just change this one very very quickly i hope you spotted that i had missed those okay so what does he look like and what can we see go on the outside of our roll on the wall. And then as you can see from here, his thoughts and his feelings go on the inside of his roll on the wall. So all the thoughts and feelings that he may have go on the inside of the person. So stop the video now and have a go at creating a roll on the wall. So what does he look like? You could say he wears blue braces. You could say he wears a khaki green shirt. This is buttoned up at the front. You could say he's got rosy red cheeks. You could say he's holding a huge ball of string. You could say he's got patty brown hair or he wears a flat cap. So all of those bits of information could go on the outside of your roll on the wall. And then you need to think about his thoughts and feelings. So he really does look after those animals and he's done a really good job of looking after the maze. So they could all go on the inside. So have a go at doing that first before you then write your description. So you're going to use your role on the wall to write your description. So, for the remainder of today's lesson, you're going to use all the ideas that you've come up with on your role on the wall to write the description of Percy. So as I said, we, we could say he has, uh, so Percy has a lovely wide smile and rosy red cheeks. That would be a really good description of Percy and we've used a joining word in there for and, okay? So he wears bright blue braces with a khaki green shirt that he's rolled up at his sleeves, okay? So straight away, I've got two sentences there which would describe Percy really well. If you want to use other pictures of Percy, there are some on the website for you to help you to see. So the one with the wheelbarrow and the one of him stood cleaning the statue are both on the website to help you to write your description. So have fun, send your descriptions through to me and I will see the words that you have been using to describe him.